The wrath of Hurricane Hermine is comparable to the wrath of the Fort Dorchester football team. The P-Men have won 17 straight games, trying to make it 18 state straight Excuse me, against the third best team in the state, Dutch Fort. News 2's Brandon Baylor standing by on campus with a report on this game. Well, the Patriots entered this one 2-0 undefeated, 17-0 leading back to last year's championship run. But tonight they lead 2-1, their first loss since 2014. Now things got out of hand once Dutch Fork took a 21 to nothing lead in the first quarter. From that point, the Patriots made it hard to climb back into this one. In the first, it was all Dutch Fork's quarterback, Reese Nichols, able to find receivers for a few touchdowns through the air. Now the Patriots will respond with a carry on joiner 80 yard touchdown run, but that will be the only spark as they lose this one 35 to 22. We just deserved it. We didn't play well. They're a better team than us. We deserve what we got. We didn't play good. We didn't deserve to win, and we didn't win. We got, we did a bad job coaching. We did a bad job playing. We deserve exactly what we got. Now, head coach Stephen Pratt said his team won't worry about losing this one. It's on to the next one for them as they start to prepare for their away game at Wanda. Here for Dorchester, Brandon Baylor, News 2 Sports. Back to you. Thank you, Brandon. Somerville hosting Berkeley. Greenway's first drive ends like this. Daryl Hancock from six yards out giving Somerville a 7-0 lead, but back come the Stags. It's that great quarterback, Darius Douglas, but his pass would be tipped, and the Green Wave, well, guess what happens? They go the other way with it. Somerville wins this one 30-15 over Berkeley. Goose Creek looking for its first win of the season. They had Sumter at home. Sumter struck first. Rodney Pitts, the running back, rounds the corner and finds the end zone. If you could find him here, Sumter on top. No offense for the Gators, but they did have the fumble rooski of all fumbles. Check out Butterhands over here. Somebody grab the football. Goose Creek would recover, but they would not win this game. 17-3, Sumter all over them. Wando at Hanahan. The game tied at 7 in the second quarter is where we pick it up. Hawks on the drive. Check out the pass. Victor Colbert to Jamie Watson. A great play, but Hanahan would settle with a field goal. It's 10-7. The Warriors come back with the ground game. To Gary Alston giving Wando a 14-10 lead. Wando wins this one. 34-22, the final score over Hanahan. Baptist Hill at Burke. The Bulldogs still looking for that first win of the season. Bobcats not trying to give one away. Corey Fields going to the back of the end zone. Rashad Maxwell. It's 8-0 Baptist Hill. Later, it's 14-0, and it's that same connection. Fields to Maxwell, this time on the dive. 48-16, Baptist Hill wins. Final game of the night, First Baptist at Pinewood Prep. Into the first half is where we pick it up. Hurricanes down 14 0. Not an appropriate nickname right now, by the way, Hurricanes, huh? Callum Scott gets lit up, but he hangs on to make a great grab. First Baptist trying to make something happen, but they could not. Pinewood Prep wins 21 0, the final score. For more scores, go to our website, countonto.com. That is all for sports. But Rob Fowler has more on Hurricane Hermine coming up next.